Smelly Mad was her. From BX to you Cold Lady Fan. Fan. It's your man. What's up? This is for the gangsters. Shout out to the gangsters. Postman posted with them gangsters. My homies be on gang time. All my homies throwing gang signs. I keep it real, I cannot fake mine. This is for the gangsters. Shout out to the gangsters. Postman posted with them gangsters. My homies be on. Professor Melly Mail, the hood postman. I'm right here with the ball gang once again. How you doing, sir? What's going on, ball gang? Right, man. As y'all know, we at the iconic, world famous Green Can Liquor Store. Man. Let me catch that. Let me get over here. It's the Green Cat, y'all. It's the Green Cat Look Store, 619. And where we located, ball gang? And where we located is, we located at a section that a lot of the homeboys from the 619, we done classified this section of the uh, of the city as uh, the Four Corners of Death. A lot of the homeboys, we done kind of renamed it, and we're calling it the Four Corners of Life now. So why was it called the Four Corners of Death? Well, you got to think about it. You got Skyline to the east. You got Lincoln Park and Five Nine Grim sets to the south. And what we got behind us? And to the east this way. You got neighborhood crib, ghost town up in the hills. You got Emerald Hills. So we right here at Euclid and Imperial, which is best known for the four corners of death. This corner is literally responsible for how many deaths? Oh man, too many to name, right? You get caught up at these. The, the, the thing about this particular section right here, this is the block where a lot of the sets would clash and meet up at and they cause. Uh, sometimes you had homies going to the taco shop, Taco shop, people pulling up at the gas station to get gas, the market over there, the world famous Huffman's Barbecue used to be in that corner over there. So a lot of sets would come into this particular section to do some shopping, get some gas, go to the top. So of the this shop. was like a major intersection a major for, all for all sections sets. and all sets. Because I know everybody in the chat was telling me about the green cat. They kept telling me about the green cat. You know, so now. I'm here at the Green Cat in the 619. Yeah, so finally made it, y'all. Yeah, you know, so you four know. corners of death. And ball game is going to get into an exclusive later on and get more detail to the four corners of death. But can we lock the door right here, ball game? Lock the door, my brother. Let's go. So back again, we with the ball game, man. Four corners of death, man. I got to see the Green Cat liquor store which sets right there on Imperial and Euclid and which is better known as in the 619 is the Four Corners of Death. Explain about the Four Corners of Death. Uh, it, it, it was, it was formerly the Four Corners of Death. We call it the Four Corners of Life now. But the Four Corners of Death, you got a section going, you got Imperial going east and west and then you got Euclid going south and north. In that particular section of the city, you got Lincoln Park and 5-9 to the south side of the Four Corners of Death. You got Neighborhood, Little Africa, Emerald Hills, um, Ghost Town at that particular time, going somewhat east of, I would say northeast, kind of like of the four corners of death and then going east you got skyline and you got in canto you got O'Farrell park and all those sets going east of the four corners of death so you got all those sets that would normally meet up at that corner so that was a gas station a taco stand a liquor store and, and, a what, and what used to be huffman's barbecue mm -hmm. and, and 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 el real taco shop across the street and everybody liked the frequent and visit those locations. Right. And oftentimes you meet your oppositions or your frenemies or your enemies, enemigos and all that different stuff. Especially at Huffman's Barbecue. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Green Cat and Huffman's Barbecue is where uh, unfortunately a lot of brothers lost their lives um, right at that intersection from all hoods. And um, and um, and um, I like to speak on a, a heads up fade in 1978-79 that I saw between Big Trade-Off and Neighborhood 
and uh, Big Reggie Booker, who uh, originally from the Central City set, but uh, ended up claiming Lincoln Park. And uh, after a party one night, and I was I was a youngster, and um, you know that corner is where you can get your fade on, especially back in those days when the house parties was going on. So was that like a a, a spot where the hand guys could meet? Yes, it was, and and, and it, was, it was also that one small street right there. A lot of the low riders would park up there at night. You know what I mean? Do their thing. You know the sisters would come through in their little jeeps and, and and painted up cars and all those types of things. So. A lot of a lot of things would happen up there at that corner, you know what I mean. Back in the uh, late seventies and early eighties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah. So, but let's talk about. So, who were the Iron Gods in the six in in the Central City Five Nine Brims? Who were the Iron Gods? Oh man, you, you know. You so had, when you, I say Iron Gods, I'm talking about the dudes that buffed that iron, oh, man, you that got, pig iron. Yeah, you got you got Hardy Smith. Uh, you know, you had Big Walt. Uh, you had uh, Big Connors, my homeboy, uh, Big John Massey. Um, um, you had uh, Dexter Johnson uh, slaying that iron. Um, Big George Lloyd. Um, a lot of us, a lot of young homies, uh, Gangster Iron, Terry Clemens, myself, my brother Melly Mel, uh, my homeboy Charlie Bow, rest in peace. Um, his brother Little Wood, um, their brother Lon Don, Maddie Stone. Um, you know, you had a lot of brothers, man, that uh, that would get up under that iron. My homeboy, Six Six Wayne. Um, there was just a, a, a whole lot of brothers that that drove that pig iron. There you, you know, go, man. So, what about the hand gods? Oh, Let's man, get down to know, the nitty gritty. Yeah, you know, that, I think I think you know, I, I want to say at least eighty five percent of the brothers from the Brim set at that particular time slaying them things. I mean, Big Keith George, rest in peace. Big Jonathan George, Big Joe George. Uh, you had Michael Lee Jones. That was the whole family, yeah. That was the whole family. Michael did well, Big Jim and his brothers, the whole Jimmy uh Jimmy Jones, Rusty Jones, Michael Lee Jones, Keith Keith Jones. Um, um, um just just too many to name, man. Uh Big John Massey slung them things, Brian Jackson had hands, my homeboy Fabulous Frankie, we call him the Reverend right now. He slung them things. Uh uh Rough House China Dog, um, my homeboy Big Bahati, uh Hal McGowan, all his brothers. All the gorillas, um, all of them, um, even their sisters. You know what I'm saying? Right. They they, they sling them things too. Um, right. So you know, just 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 the majority of the neighborhood. Um, um, Big Waltz uh, really slung them things. My homeboy Kenny White, uh, he was left-handed. We call him the silent one, knockout artist. But he also had technique. He'd give you five or ten minutes, and he's one of those type of brothers you ain't gonna want to fight no more. So there's you know. Awesome. So, yeah. So there's you know. So there was a. There was a, there was a, there's a lot of brothers, man, from the neighborhood that slain them things. You know what I mean? I slain them things. You dig what I'm saying? Um, my, my brother, Melly Mel, young Melly, my brother slain them things. My cousin Flint. Um, you know, so you know, there's a you know there was a lot of lot of brothers. Uh, my homeboy Red Butler, his brother uh, uh, Randy Butler. Um, so you know, a lot of brothers in the neighborhood that slain them things. Man. I know, man. I appreciate that. Well, we're gonna go ahead and lock the door, man. Can we lock the door, ball game? Oh, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Check this out, Melly down here in the six one nine. You dig what I'm saying? Get a get a look get a look at my crib, man. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? Where we at? You know what I mean? He's got a very nice home right here, y'all. Uh, very nice mm -hmm. and very uh, well put together, taken care of. Yes. We at the ball game, but we gonna lock the door. Yeah, one love, y'all. The postman always got motion, always keep motion. I'm the postman, 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 I'm the postman. On the dead homies, like Randy Loki, yeah. It's the cartel. Always got motion.